Hey guys, we're back, and we're here in the lands of ice, and we see this boat right here. What's up with this boat? This boat looks funny. What is up with this boat? Let's move in closer on this boat. I like saying boat. Boat, boat, boat. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh my god, this thing is huge. What is it? It's the Kokuyo. What does he look like? Oh my god, I'm scared. What does he look like? Oh my god. Oh my god, let's find out what's going on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's... it's a... What is it? Oh my god! It's a Hello Kitty! Ma Holding one of Meow's payday Hello coins, there. I guess. I don't know. She's got the funniest noise. Hello there! Anyway. I'm sorry, I'm acting really weird right now. This is Daiko Kuya. Sounds like... Daiko Kuya! Oh, I always find that hilarious every time. And so we're gonna try defeating Daiko Kuya. He's got a Boo and a Yujin. Yujin's just another um, soldier, and a Boo is another sword wielding guy. There's another Tenku sword wielding guy, I should say. They all know essentially the same moves. He's got Wind Slash and stuff like that, and his is very powerful, Eugen's. Come here! Come here! And he can get bodyguards and stuff. Another Eugen. He can also spawn booze, but. Let's try this. That's not the point. I actually, um, I can't remember what comes first, whether it's the, uh, if what comes, what, what came first, either this fight or, um, the fight with your imposter. So you know what, I'm uploading them, whatever order they come out is probably right, but it may not be. I'm not sure actually. I gotta look that up. I think this one comes first on the list, but it doesn't really matter because you both unlock them at the same time. So, basically, once you go to Yafutoma, it's pretty much all available now, I'm pretty sure. Never seen that before. Speed potions for all. I remember. We've already uploaded Vice the Imposter fight. Never mind. I'm sorry. I just realized that. I was like looking at my progress bar and I was like, wait a minute. We already did Vice, uh, Vice the Imposter. Vice. That should have been uploaded right before this, actually. Well, it is going to be uploaded right before this, technically, from my perspective. Overall, Daiko Kuya is not that hard. You just. He doesn't do that much. I'm gonna hit him with a. I could show you blue rogues, but it's not much. The only difference is it could slightly heal you, which is why I this is sometimes the better time to use it. Because if you're losing, it's good to use it because it it also heals you slightly. But it depends on who's in your crew, as I've already told you. Hopefully, it may sometimes uh, heal you. It depends on who you're using. Like Moigi, Moigi doesn't hurt you in any way. It doesn't hurt the opponent, it heals you instead. Same with, uh, Urala. And all of them are like that. That is how you go from losing to winning in all one shot. Oh, this last guy's not dead, that son of a bitch. I'm gonna heal up now. And heal up. And you will actually attack that Eugen who survived with, like, ten health. Fuck. Uh.
Ah, oh, he got another one. No fun. Anyway guys, so this is all coming out right before my new video, as you probably know, and this is this is the, probably the second day's worth of recording and uploading of the extras, because I'm going to upload the first four fights and then the last four fights or so, all in the same day, so that's going to be pretty cool. So yeah. This is, this is cool, you know. The way we're, I'm just glad we're, we're getting through this for friggin' sake. That's what I'm proud for. We got through it. Anyway, in the next one, the next little video is gonna be very short, very self-explanatory, and it's, it's something I haven't done before. Well, you, may, I may have if you actually used to watch my channel, but I'm gonna start doing those probably for filler videos in between. I decided I'll make this thing nothing but video game related things, and maybe some machinima if I can ever take the time to make one. But more or less, this is just going to be LPs and what you saw and what you're going to see tomorrow, hopefully, if I get the recording done. It may not be tomorrow, but I won't start the next LP until this video comes up, unless plans change, which I doubt they will, but in case. I can't believe I've gone through this whole fight without saying Daiko Kuya, like Daiko Kuya! You know? Anyway. Oh, they're healing him. Surprisingly, he's really easy. Besides all his bodyguards and stuff, and. He's been a pretty easy opponent so far. No! Well, he should be dead this turn anyway, actually. He should be dead. If he's not dead, I'll be surprised. Like, honestly. He was down like his last 2,000 and he healed, and he has about 4,000 damage this move does. Yeah. I got some beef jerky stuck in my teeth. And this will probably kill that boo in one shot. Let me just attack. Booyah! Ah. Booyah! That's, that's great, you know. That's totally gonna prevent us from killing you. Bitch. And he's survived, surprisingly, so we know he has a fair bit of health, but... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, you bitch. You <laughs> bitch. Die. He'll probably die after a bunch of attacks. Oh, critical hit, bitch! Even Cubal hates you. Oh, bitch! Anyway, sorry for my loud winning screams. So that was Daiko Kuya, guys. We're gonna watch this last cutscene, and the next video up is gonna be the next guy. See you guys in a few minutes, hopefully. That's actually really funny what happened there, if you were reading it.
Uh, uh, gayness. Not, not, not a fan, really. Not a fan. 